Hey everyone. Now in today's video, we're going to be learning all about robotic process automation. So if you're new to this topic, then this session will definitely help you understand RPA better. So without further ado, let's jump in and look at what's in store for us. So the topics we're going to be covering in this session are why RPA, automation versus RPA, what is RPA, what is not RPA, features, benefits, types, some of RPA software tools, its services, some of the industries adopting RPA and its growth projections. So let's begin by understanding the necessity of RPA. Now imagine having to solve complex mathematical problems manually. It's possible but not all that easy. To make life a little easier, calculators were invented. They proved to be accurate, easy and time-saving. However, these conventional calculators need human input. Now this is partial automation. So does a calculator qualify to fall under the RPA framework? Well, no. Robotic process automation, on the other hand, would be completely automating the working of a calculator where it requires zero human interaction. Now let's compare traditional automation with RPA. Consider an invoice processing software. Now this software would automatically generate these invoices in a strategic manner. However, the processing requires human interaction. On the other hand, to ensure complete end-to-end -end automation, RPA plays the key role. RPA is an approach that allows one to automate the manual interactions in a known process. Traditional automation involves programming APIs and integration tools to integrate different systems. RPA, on the other hand, mimics the actions of a user at the user interface level. These actions could be mouse clicks or keystrokes. Since the developer directly interacts with the software, he must have a clear understanding of the target system in case of automation. But that's not the case in RPA. As long as the bot can exactly follow the steps, the developer need not worry about the underlying complexities. So let's move ahead and understand what is RPA. RPA is the use of software with AI and machine learning capabilities. Now these softwares handle high volume repeated tasks that previously required humans to perform. Now RPA approach sticks to the front end only making it easier for its users. So RPA basically is a configuration that automates repetitive tasks. Some of these tasks could be answering queries, making calculations, maintaining records or even handling transactions. To give you an example, consider an employee handling invoices in a company. Now his duty would include printing these invoices for audit purposes. Now doing this regularly proves to be strenuous and monotonous. RPA helps overcome this. It can be used to open the invoice mail from the supplier, extract the invoice and print it for records, all of which requires zero effort from the employee. Now I'm sure you'll understand RPA better with a small demonstration. Now consider you have to display a welcome message on a regular basis. Now instead of manually typing it every time, you definitely want to automate it. For this purpose, we make use of an RPA tool called UiPath. Now don't worry, we'll learn about this later in the session. UiPath Studio is a tool used to develop RPA bots for specific functions. Now let me navigate to my UiPath Studio and here I'll create a new project. Let me call it message 101 and I'll say create. Alright, so this is how the UiPath Studio looks. Let me get rid of this. And here you have various activities that you can perform. So a sequence is basically a set of activities that is defined in a particular order. It also executes in that particular order. So what I can do is I can drag and drop this here. And within the sequence, I drag and drop my activity. So I want to display a message. So I drag the message box and drop it here. The message that I want to display must be quoted within double quotes. So I say, hello, welcome to RPA tutorial. And I save it. And after that, I run it. So once I do that, it has to display the message on my screen. So let's see if it does that. Voila, here we go. You can see the message being displayed. So this was a simple example of how RPA works. Using this tool, you can practically automate complex functionalities. We learn all about UiPath in detail in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that. Moving ahead, let's see some of the common misconceptions about RPA. RPA is not a humanoid robot. Certain dynamic applications and processes that require human actions cannot be completely automated. RPA can also not replace humans. It can only be used for known processes. It doesn't have a brain of its own and cannot perform human-like activities. And lastly, it cannot replicate human cognitive functions. It definitely lacks logical thinking and does not possess decision-making skills. 
Let's look at some of the key features of RPA, a rich analytical suite. Now, most enterprise level RPA monitors and manages automated functions from a central console. Now, this console can be accessed from anywhere and offers basic metrics on robots, servers, workflows, etc. Now, this solution of RPA requires no integration since everything is inbuilt. Creation of bots. Now, RPA tools allow quick creation of bots by capturing mouse clicks and keystrokes with built in screen recorder components. Now, many RPA products include the option to create and edit bots manually with the help of a task editor. Scriptless automation. Now, RPA tools are code free and can automate applications in any department. Employees with less programming skills can create bots through GUIs or graphical user interface. Now, this feature reduces the amount of hand code writing and improves the rate of delivery. Next up, we have security. RPA tools enable the configuration as well as customization of encryption methods. Now, this helps defend against any interruption in the network. Hosting and deployment. RPA systems can automatically deploy bots in groups of hundreds. Hence, RPA bots can be installed on desktops and deployed on servers to access data for repetitive tasks. Lastly, we have debugging. Some RPA tools require to stop running to rectify the errors, while other tools allow dynamic interaction while debugging. Now, this dynamic approach allows to develop on the go and to resolve issues in a runtime environment without changing the process. Now, let's look at some of the benefits of RPA. Reduces cost. One of the most important advantages of RPA is the quick reduction in cost. By automating tasks, the cost saving of almost 30% can be achieved. Software robots also cost way less than a full-time employee. Reduces operational risk. Various companies generally prefer to outsource busy work to external parties. Now, this comes with an inherent risk of human errors and inefficiency. RPA brings forth a better solution and since the work stays in-house, there is less operational risk. Quality and accuracy. RPA offers services to processes with high probability of human errors, thereby increasing accuracy. Robots are reliable and consistent and don't complain when expected to work tirelessly. Scalability. With the help of RPA, companies can make adjustments based on seasonality and can easily scale up or down operations as needed. Moving on, let's learn about the types of RPA. First up, we have unattended or autonomous RPA. Now, these are ideally used for reducing work like completing data processing tasks in the background. Now, these bots can be generally launched at specific intervals or they can be bot initiated or they can be initiated when there's a data input. Second up, we have attended RPA. Now, these bots live on the user's machines and are triggered by the user. So, some sort of human interaction is required. They're usually launched when they're embedded on the employee's device or they can be ordered and based on conditions or they can be initiated with the help of an RPA client tool. Thirdly, we have hybrid RPA. As the name suggests, it's a combination of attended and unattended RPA. These bots address front and back office tasks in the enterprise. Next up, we have RPA software tools. Now, robotic process tools are used for the automation of repetitive back office processes. Now, there are numerous RPA tools available in the market. Some of them are Automation Anywhere, UiPath, Blue Prism, Pega, and WorkFusion, among others. In the upcoming videos, we'll discuss some of these tools in detail. Watch out for that. Moving on, let's look at some of the RPA services. Now, these RPA services generally include common business processes like opening emails and attachments, filling in forms and moving folders, follow if-then rules, connect to system APIs, extract structured data from documents, make complex calculations, monitor manual processes and learn how to perform them, example machine learning, copy and paste, read and write to databases, scrap data from documents, log into web or enterprise applications, and so on. Now that we have a clear idea on what RPA is, let's go ahead and look at some of the industries adopting RPA. First up, we have banking and finance. RPA has been a boon to the finance industry with its significant impact on reducing considerable work volumes. Human resources. Typically with HR processes, witnessing a high volume of repetitive tasks, the RPA could significantly improve the rate, efficiency and cost effectiveness in the functions. It can be used to run tasks in careers and learning, talent acquisition, etc. Marketing and sales. RPA is helping organizations in building the sales pipeline and engaging with their customers more efficiently. IT integration processes. RPA can be used to integrate legacy and newer systems in automation endeavors. Insurance agencies. RPA helps empower insurers in building a high growth responsive business while optimizing cost. Lastly, we have customer relationship management. RPA software can automatically keep your CRM maintained with the most up-to-date and accurate information. Lastly, let's look at the RPA growth projections and its future. Both RPA software and services increased by huge amounts between 2016 and 2021 and beyond. 
According to McKinsey Research, knowledge and work automation could have an economic impact of $5 to $7 trillion by the year 2025. It will touch more than 230 million knowledge workers, which is almost 9% of the global workforce. Any company which is labor-intensive, where people are performing high-volume, high-transaction functions, will boost their capabilities and save money and time with RPA. I hope you find out this video useful. If you like this video, then give it a like. Share this video if you find out this video useful. If you think that, if something is missing in this video, or you want us to cover some other content related to programming languages, technology or anything. Then do comment down. We will work on that, and don't forget to visit to our playlist section. You will find some interesting content there. Subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.